There's just six weeks to go now until one of the highlights of the Audi TT Mark I events calendar for 2024, and it's got a truly international flavor. That's right, it's the Audi TT Mark I international event in Belgium. I'm Andy, and welcome along to everything you need to know about the upcoming event in April. Want to know all about it? where we are going, when we are going, and how to get there, then you're in the right place. Hopefully this video should answer all your questions. Although this was arranged as a Mark I TT beat, all TTs, Mark IIs and Mark Threes are also very welcome to join us. But first let's start off with a little bit of background about why this event is happening. Last year, Addy TT Mark I enthusiast and fellow Silver Roadster owner, Simon Matthews, mentioned to me he had a friend that lived in Belgium that had a large collection of vintage cars in a museum. And he suggested to me we should take a trip to see them. Now I thought this would be a great central location for a European TT meet and one thing led to another. So we got in touch with Frank Smulders from the Dutch Audi TT Mark I Facebook group and suggested to him that some of his fellow Mark Ones may like to join us in Belgium. And now not only have we got fellow Dutch Audi TT Mark I owners coming along, but there's also a large contingent coming from France, from Germany, and of course from Belgium itself. So this is promising to be a truly TT international event. So let's start off with where in Belgium we are going. We are heading to the beautiful Belgian town of Ypres, which is 90 minutes drive from the port of Calais, for those of you that are heading over from the UK. From France, it is literally a 20 minute drive across the border. The town of Ypres is home to a wonderful motor museum called Cady Cars, which is owned by Thierry de Heck. Thierry has over 150 vintage and classic cars in his collection, and it is a sight to truly behold. I know I am personally looking forward to seeing all of those great cars and enjoying the Ypres area. In fact, the museum is so much more than a static collection of cars to visit. You can book the museum as a venue for a variety of private dining or corporate events also. Definitely something to consider if you are looking to hold a business function with a great backdrop. The museum address can be seen on screen now and I recommend visiting the kdcars.be website which has a whole host of information on location, what is there and how to find them. The museum entry cost is 15 euros and it includes a drink. You get to look at all of these fantastic cars on show as well as chatting and viewing all of the wonderful TTs that will be on display. Parking at the venue is located to the front at Mistral Cars, which is a workshop connected to the museum. You can see the location here on the diagram in relation to the museum. Park up, view the cars and then head on into the museum. I personally am arriving on the Friday afternoon and I'm staying until Sunday afternoon as I want to sample all of the great culture of this wonderful historic town and enjoy the great food on offer. For those that do not know, the town of Ypres was almost totally destroyed during the World Wars and was rebuilt to what you see today. It plays a very significant role in commemorating the fighting during the last century and a last post ceremony takes place every evening at the Menin Gate from 8pm. Something very poignant to see and I know for sure I will be attending this while I am there. Now we know where we're going, let's look at when we're going. So this event is being held over the weekend of the 12th, 13th and 14th of April with the meet at the museum starting at 11.30am on Saturday the 13th of April. I am heading out to Belgium on Friday the 12th and heading home on Sunday the 14th. That way I get to enjoy the town as well as meet you all and take a look at your cars. Me personally, I've organised a convoy of cars from the UK and we are travelling by Eurotunnel on the 10.50am crossing from Folkestone. A lot of people have asked about meeting up prior to Eurotunnel's departure area, so I'm suggesting an 8.45 meet at Folkestone Services, Junction 11 on the M20. The postcode and address can be seen on screen now. This will allow those coming a great distance to get refreshed and assembled before we head off from this services at 9am to check in. There is also a great rest area with refreshment and toilets once checked in. Once we receive our call to proceed, we will head up and jump on the train, which I think will look pretty cool all in a line. We should arrive in Calais with the clock change just after 12.30pm. 
We will then drive the remaining 90 minutes to Ypres and get checked in to the various accommodation. For those convoying over, I'm also going to set up a WhatsApp group. So if you would like to be kept up to date with our whereabouts and events on the day, then please do drop me your phone number at the address on screen now. I'm staying at the Wellness Yoke Spa in Ypres, but there are many other places to find on booking.com and similar sites to suit all budgets. The Eurotunnel costs are around £180 for the return trip, but you can also catch the ferry from Dover to Calais for much cheaper. They often have deals for short stays, so worth checking out on the P&O website. You may even want to do this as a day trip return, depending on how much driving you want to do. Friday evening, I will look to head out for some dinner at one of the wonderful bistros and restaurants in Ypres. If you want to join me to talk TTs and enjoy a beer or two and some fine food, then please do get in touch with your contact details and I'll add you to our trip WhatsApp group. Saturday will be the car event and Saturday evening I will be heading to the Menine Gate for the last post ceremony. This is just my itinerary but feel free to join me for any part of this or enjoy the town at your own leisure. So there's lots of options there for you to travel whenever you want. There's also an email address for those of you that are interested to get in touch with Frank or myself and I'm going to leave a link to that on screen now. So let's take a look at what's on offer at the KD Cars Museum. As well as the great cars on display, a food truck has been arranged at KD Cars. It will be available around lunchtime where fries and various snacks, six types including vegetarian, are available for €10 Euros a person. In addition to the drinks at the entrance, there are also drinks available at €2.50 Euros for sodas, beers or coffee, available for 30 TT drivers to order from a 1964 Citroen HY van. This truly promises to be a fantastic weekend of cars, great people and great food. And of course, we'll be making lots of great memories. So I really hope you can join us, whether you're coming from somewhere around Europe or from the UK or maybe even further afield. If you've got plans to join us in Europe, then please do leave me a comment below and I'm sure all the other people that are attending will be looking forward to seeing you. If you've got any other questions about this event that I've not listed in the video, then please do get in touch with me at the channel. So hopefully that gives you a summary of what's going on at the International Audi TT Mark I event this April in Belgium. Don't forget to keep an eye on my channel for other events that are going on around the UK, as I tend to do a monthly video on the upcoming events. If you like what you've seen today in this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel where you'll find a whole host of content on the Audi TT Mark 1 and some other cars. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.